I'm Matt Caputo, uh, buyer and president of a priori and um, CEO of Caputo's Market in Delhi. We love chocolate. We have a lot of it. And I want to give everybody a little bit of insight into the various brands that we have. So, Chocolate Naive, coming from Lithuania, is a really interesting new chocolate maker that we're really, really excited about. These guys are a very cool, dynamic company. They have like uh, fashion boutiques mixed with chocolate boutiques, but the chocolate itself is what really wins us over, not necessarily the uber cool vibe that it just, you know, can only come from like an Eastern European company like this, which they are uber, uber cool. And their packaging is amazing, but the chocolate is really, really unique itself. It doesn't taste like other chocolate, it doesn't look like other chocolate, it doesn't feel like other chocolate on the palate. Um, they use less refining, so it's more, uh, a little bit more texture to it than like the smoothness of other chocolate, but yet it's not as, as rough as say like a Taza or a traditional stone ground chocolate either. It's, it's totally different than everything else. And one of the great examples of how it's not just different in terms of, of recipe, but in ingredients as well, is their milk bar. Their Java milk bar is one of my favorite chocolates that I've ever tasted, and I'm not that big of a fan of most milk chocolates. But this one is a, is a very dark milk chocolate. I believe it's about 60%. Um, but the milk is what makes it special. The milk comes from their farm in Lithuania. They don't own like some giant agribusiness cow farm. They have like a couple of cows. And a couple of cows grazing just outside the forest on the grasses makes milk for this chocolate that does not taste like the milk used in other chocolate. It tastes almost barnyardy. It tastes grassy. And the milk chocolate itself is like part fresh pasture, part milk, part chocolate, part cheese almost. I mean, it's this incredible flavor and you can really tell the quality of the ingredients they put in them. They also have these little chocolate covered blueberries and a bar coming out with these freeze dried blueberries in it. And I was like, ah, oh, you know, I've had fruit in chocolate before. It doesn't excite me that much. But when you taste these, the expression of floral blueberry that you get is so astounding that I ask myself, what is going on? Why does it taste like this? I've had fruit and chocolate before, and the reason they told me is, well, those blueberries don't come from some farm that sells lots and lots of blueberries. We went out into the forest and we picked blueberries in the Lithuanian forest, and it sounds like a load of bull, quite honest, until you pop one in your mouth and you're like, oh my god. This is what blueberries used to taste like 100 years ago, and the chocolate itself is using really unique, rare origins. Some of the limited editions, they're changing around all the time. It's so unique, I'm getting chills right now. The chocolate, the inclusions, the packaging, the uber cool vibe that transcends time and country of origin. We love Chocolate Naive, one of our favorites.